the Sephir, right? Yeah, that's their music. <laughs> Figured it was you. Sup? Have a seat. Bourbon? I suppose not. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't we be? It's not like we're on a battlefield right now. We're Jaegers. Nothing unusual about us trying to cut some throats one day that's sitting in a bar with the same guys the next. Of course, if you would rather fight with us, that can be arranged. <laughs> hey, now, no need to be so pessimistic. He seems to think pretty highly of you. Have a little more faith in yourself. At the very least, you'd be able to give us a real fight in your divine night. Not that I'd have any intention of losing even then. Jeez. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah? Ranking 72nd for the year in an academy full of big shot students ain't half bad. 72nd? What? I didn't. I ranked 7th. <sighs> Brings a tear to my eye to see our little oh. fee putting her heart into her education. Fee. Yeah. And don't forget, she was the youngest of her classmates, too. The boss was right when he said that she can do anything she puts her mind to. You got that right. Maybe joining the gardening club will make her a bit more ladylike, too. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> She's still young. She has plenty of time to develop on that front if she so pleases. Yeah. <laughs> Two fathers. <laughs> And feeds their kid. <laughs> Not anything against gay couples. It's just like, I'm imagining these two like that. <laughs> if anyone is an artist, please draw that. <laughs> I'd laugh. Oh my god. I'd show it on, uh, on the channel too. But please make sure it's yours. And give a little signature on it too. Proven it's yours. I don't want to show my channel artwork that's not yours and you taking credit for it. That is not how I want to be. I want you guys to draw your own stuff and be proud of what you draw, even if it's a stick figure. Oh. He told you about that. It sounds like you're closer to her than I thought you were. Oh boy. I trust this is simply me being paranoid. Yeah. But you haven't tried making any moves on her, have you? No, of course not. Well... Hmm. We had our reasons. Let's leave it at that. I know you want to know, but you're not the one we should be telling that to. We'll be sure to tell Fee our reasons in due time. Until then, leave the issue be. No, oh boy. Fighting words right there. Of course. But still, we'll remember you said that. Please do. Returning to the matter at hand, you're sure you haven't tried to make any moves on her? No! Come on, spit it out! <sighs> exactly. No, I haven't. My target is not her. Yeah. 
Let's see the last two rooms. Oh boy. That's the number one enforcer, right? Or the number two? Let's go inside. Let's see who it is. McBurn? <gasps> yeah. Oh, it's you. Forgot you were staying here too. So what's up? I couldn't give a damn whether you joined the Alliance or not, to be honest. Interesting. You mixed by any chance? Oh yeah, that. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. Oh shush. So, what do you want to ask? Oh, that? I don't know if I can even explain that one. It's just something you feel. What we've got mixed into us is obviously different in strength and nature. It's kind of hard to put into words. Just watch. There's no trick to it. I'm not using an ornament, it's not magic. And I'm not using an artifact either. I just will fire to appear, and it does. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Something that just gives you results without the processes you'd usually have to go through to obtain them. Mm -hmm. You've got one too, right? It's the same kind of thing. People who can do things like that usually have something mixed into them. Something foreign. Unnatural, mixed into their body itself, different to the church's stigmas. Looks like a pretty small part of it in your case, though. There, huh? Anyway, I couldn't tell you how, where, or why whatever it is got mixed into you. I'm sure you've got more questions, but sorry, I can't answer them. Mm, at least we knew about him more know about him more. <laughs> Good for you, I guess. <laughs> so, we done now? Me? All of me. Whoa! That was creepy! Even his glare is strong. Okay, so who are we missing? We're missing someone. It's not Vita. We talked to... Crow? No. Okay, let me figure it out before I go. Vita's not here. We talked to the two from Ouroboros. Blue Blanc. Oh, this is the girl that looks that with the robot, right? Just not.
knock? And she's not. Just like Melium. Aww. Why are you going there? That's so creepy. Like, you're fucking creepy, Reed. The fuck are you looking at a child sleeping? Even though she's strong as fuck, but still. Get the, get the fuck out of there, creepy fuck. Situation assessed. Location is a room inside the guest area of the Pentagruel. Nine hours have passed since initial loss of consciousness. Why do you analyze everything like that? Are you a robot or something? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Reen Schwarzer, why are you here? Unless my memories have been tampered with, I believe this room was solely allocated to me. So you're an intruder then. Clown Soleus. Oh boy. No mercy for trespassers. Oh boy. This is what you get, Reen. So you claim to have no inappropriate motives for sneaking into this room. <sighs> when will you learn? But once you walked in, you fell victim to temptation and chose to act in accordance to your desires. No! What the fuck?! Oh boy. I was making a joke. That was a joke. Had you any intention of harming me, Clown Soleus would have attacked you. That he didn't prove your innocence. <laughs> yeah. If that's what you want to do, you didn't come to ask me anything then? The answer to your first question is, I was ordered to do so. Okay. As all information regarding Clown Soleus is confidential, I am unable to answer your second question. I see. And as for the last one, I am unable to fully comprehend the depth of your question. The Black Workshop. Huh? That's the name of the place I belong to. It was they who loaned me to the Noble Alliance. Unless you choose to join the Alliance, that is the most I'm able to disclose to you.
Why are you petting everyone? I can't see doing so holding any real purpose for you. Incidentally, did you have any untoward motives behind what you just did? Okay, so we have talked to everyone, right? So, second floor is the next marker? Is it? Yes. Let me go this way, because I'm not going to go around. Here. Oh, it's moving. Okay. No, of course it's going to be moving, but I just wanted to see if the... Clouds were moving or anything. Wow, they really pay attention to detail. I, I, people who made this game, props to you guys. Like, this turned out beautifully. Anyway, let's see who's in here. I think it's Elise. Let's see if I'm right. Yes. Who is it? Please come in. That's the princess. That's the princess, right? That doesn't sound like Elise, if I'm mistaken. Is it the princess? Yeah, the princess. seem mad oh what are I mean how did you get here <gasps> this all feels like a dream please don't tell me it is I don't think my heart could handle the disappointment it's not don't worry Simply being able to see you again is more than I could have hoped for. <gasps> Don't cry, come on. So that's Aww. what you've been doing all this time? Yep. Everything Rain just said. Uh, whatever. I do recall thinking things were a little noisier than usual yesterday. Now I know why. <laughs> Strange as it may sound, I suppose I owe the Duke my thanks. After all, if not for his invitation, we wouldn't have been able to find each other like this. You want to know where Elise is, right? Yeah. She's not on this ship, I'm afraid. I can't say for sure, but I believe she's been taken to the same place as my parents. I'm sure it isn't news to you that my mother, father, and Cedric have been imprisoned somewhere. <coughs> There's dust and pollen everywhere. And apparently... They've chosen Elise to be my family's attendant. Uh, of course. So it's likely wherever they've been taken, she's right there with them. <laughs> I can hardly blame you. I feel exactly the same way, even. That was Duke Cayenne's decision. I believe he's using me to suppress potential rebellion in areas occupied by the Alliance. I see. 
using you as a hostage. Well, not as a hostage, but kind of like one. By having me address the people and calm them down. Oh. Yeah. I don't especially mind doing it, honestly. It's a simple enough task. People all across Erebonia are uneasy about this war. And as princess, I should do what's within my power to help calm their nerves. <laughs> yes, but... Oh, why even bother? You see through everything, don't you, Reen? Anyway, putting my feelings aside, uh, what do you plan to do now? I presume you don't intend to actually do whatever Duke Cayenne tells you to. Of course not. I see. It wasn't your fault, Reen. Oh, look at her, she's so adorable. Aww, she's so cute. Yes, I did. Your honorary little sister, I order you to get a hold of yourself. Oh, oh, I know Elise far better than you think I do. In fact, I'd even go as far as to say I know her better than you. Oh, shit, Reen. She's already told me so much about what happened eight years ago. She told me about how that snowy day was what inspired you to take up the sword. She told me how traumatic that moment was for you. How what happened stays with you even now. And she even told me that, while she hated how she felt, she felt the tiniest bit happy because of it. Because it meant that your attention, your guilt, and your sense of responsibility were directed towards her and no one else. And she knew more than anyone how selfish that was. She may have had other reasons for choosing to go to St. Estraya, but her main reason was that she didn't want you to keep feeling guilty because of her. More than anything else, she wanted to free you of your burdens. You should know, when you joined Thor's and were making new friends, and you finally seemed to be moving forward? She felt a little jealous, and even a little lonely at being left behind. But she was so very, very happy for you too. So please, Reen. Please, don't use Elise to justify not choosing your place in this war. Because I know for a fact, she wants you of all people, to carve your own path and find true happiness.
Oh, he's thinking of Laura, yes! Ah, oh, goddammit! Game! Is that a new state of mind? He's now ready to use a new crash for unification when the time comes. What? What is this? The hell's that? I want to know. No, no, you tell me right now. Stay like this a little while longer, but I suppose all good things have to come to an end. Aww. Take care of yourself, Reen. I'll leave Elisa's rescue to you. No matter what it takes, please. Why are you shaking <clears throat> your head? Oh. So, do you have an escape plan? Okay. All right then. <laughs> I never imagined I'd be running away from here with you at my side. Elise is going to be so envious. <laughs> You're such a little tease. So mischievous, jeez. Oh! <gasps> she's at my party! Uh, she's level 60. Ah! Uh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cute. Oh, Pandora. Oh! She has Pandora? I want it. I need it. have a weapon. Outside and see. There are a lot of very strong people here, so try to keep your voice down. <laughs> Not to worry. That's right. I mean, Blue Blanc is right there, right? Or not anymore? Where to? I have to go to my room? to go 
go through this. Oh boy. <laughs> he doesn't want to peek. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's go. Actually, really dark. That goes a long way. I'm surprised. It's not dirty at all in here. Maybe it's because the ship's newly built. Scooch, scooch, scooch. Scoochy, scooch, scooch. Left, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a corner. Thank you for your attention to detail. Past the guest area, then. Oh my god. Finally! Such a long, narrow vent. <sighs> Let's see where we drop off. Please tell me you spoke to him, right? Damn it. Oh, wow. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Alpha. Oh, I have to scan that. Yay. I have enough though. Yeah. Down. It's my turn. Who's this? Uh... Here I go. Oh, never mind. That's that. Let's keep moving. Pandora. I need that. I need that in my life for my casters. For Emma, I think. I think I might use it. Back, I can heal. So let me heal. Do my fits a little. Okay, let's go forward now. There are gonna be more enemies. Great. Okay, it's this way. 
Gladly. Oh, Let's okay, move. she doesn't attack. Turn. Second form. Gale! Now! Yeah. It's my turn. Called archaisms. Oh. I almost passed these rooms. Gee. I don't suppose escaping through the windows would be an option. No. Ha! Probably not. We'll have to do this the long way. I forgot that was too much. Work. Now let's keep headed forward, but... Oh. Oh boy. That's a big one. Now's our chance. Let's get him! Wow, there's... Let's move! Quite a lot here. That'll scope your wrath. Gladly! Oh, I have Analyze on her. Great. Here I go! There! Gladly! Where are they moving? They have triple advantage. Never. They shouldn't be. Oh boy. My turn. I have to second form. Damn. Jeez, Pandora. Attack your mutt over there. Let's move. Take you up. Right. Fire. Arcus, activate. Yeah. And you still don't die. <laughs> Let's move. Sit. You're not gonna kill her. Fire. That's the power of the eight leaves. Okay, um... Parts. What is this? Fully heals. Huh. Let's see. Damn, that's... A straight long path. Okay. Let's just hurry up. Okay. More soldiers.
Here I go. Okay, everybody scanned. So let's use this. Second form. Damn! Oh, of course. Even though that's my strongest attack. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, good thing. But of course, that's gonna take a while. My turn. That wraps things up in a neat little bow. you are with arts you are <laughs> you're so sweet no, but... she's got the hot marine she wants the r not the d the r she wants the read oh you just get stuck in there now turn around Now's our chance. Let's move. Sit. Right. My turn. Here, that's about it. Let's go forward. God. Defeat this, ar this archaism. And now this way. Oh, look! A staircase! Thank you, Captain Hopefully Obvious. This will lead to the deck. Heal up and save. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to have a boss battle. Let's move forward. 